Hi dear friends, welcome back to Curious Vet. I am Dr. Mosina. Today we will discuss about a disease condition in canine about an orthopedic developmental disorder called hypertrophic osteodystrophy in dogs. So hypertrophic osteodystrophy or metaphyseal osteopathy is a disease of long bones and it is a disease of rapidly growing large or giant breeds of dogs that causes metaphyseal trabecular disruption. The condition is characterized by grossly observable swellings of the distal metaphyses of radius ulna and tibia. This disorder has been misinterpreted by some clinicians as joint swellings. But sometimes uh, the condition can be seen in the jaw, ribs or vertebrae. And the breeds commonly affected are large and giant breeds like Great Danes, Weimariners, Labrador Retrievers and Standard Poodles. The cause of the disease is actually unknown and the condition is not caused by a deficiency of vitamin C or excessive vitamin D, dietary minerals or calories and links to the vaccination for canine distemper virus still remains unproven. Now let's see the pathophysiology. Disturbance of the metaphyseal blood supply leads to delayed ossification of the physial hypertrophic zone. And this, there will be inflammation and necrosis occur secondary to metaphyseal trabecular microfractures. And the clinical signs are metaphyseal limb swelling involving all the four limbs, but it is more noticeable in the thoracic limbs. And males are more commonly affected and it usually affects more in two to eight months of age. There are different forms. In the acute form, there is a transient episodic low-grade lameness with pyrexia and hot, swollen, painful limbs. But acute cases may have lethargy, dehydration, severe pain on palpation of the affected area. Severe physial damage rarely leads to angular lymph deformities as well. The diagnosis is based on history, signalment, clinical signs, physic and physical examination findings. An important diagnostic tool is radiography. Radiographs reveal a pathognomonic pseudo line adjacent to the physis on the metaphyseal side of the bone as seen in this picture. So this is called a double physis, that is a radian loosened line that is parallel to physis. Laboratory findings are invariably unremarkable and rare hypocalcemia is of unknown significance. And this disease, HOD, should be differentially diagnosed from other conditions like panosteitis, septic arthritis, rickets, osteomyelitis and trauma. Coming to the treatment, treatment varies depending on the degree affected but therapy consists of mainly supportive care and analgesia. Correct an inappropriate diet and withdraw excessive supplements of vitamin C, vitamin D or minerals. NSAIDs are used during the acute phase of the disease and these are the medicines used like caprofen, meloxicam and daracoxib in the given doses, dose rate. Rest, confinement, soft, soft tissue bed, like soft bedding, use of soft bedding and turning off animal every four to six hours is done as necessary. Severe cases may require more intensive management. Britnisolone at 0.25 to 0.5 mg per kilogram after ruling out the possibility of a bacterial infection, fluid therapy and nutritional care should be given. If lameness persists because of angular limb deformities, then surgical correction may be necessary. Mm -hmm. 
monitoring of animal relapses can occur in growing dogs most mild and moderate cases recover completely owners may elect euthanasia of severely affected animals or ones that experience multiple relapses prognosis is usually good but angular limb deformity is a possible complication recovery li- relies on supportive care and can take days to weeks most dogs with this disease will have one or two episodes and then recover now let's see the key point once again Hypertrophic osteodystrophy is a disease of large rapidly growing dogs the distal metaphyses of four limbs are more commonly affected and can be swollen radiographic findings have a classic double physial line treatment is supportive uh, with anti-inflammatory or steroids pain medications and activity restriction so that's all about hypertrophic osteodystrophy or HOD in canines If the video is informative, please like it and share it with your friends. Comment your suggestions. If you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching Curious Vet. See you soon with another video.